there were very few people interested in it. I looked at it and I said, can I make money out of it? And uh, I couldn't see how because I didn't see customers. But I knew one thing. The fact that this is a new thing, I like to be the first in it, to develop it, and hopefully, if it works, I'll be ahead of the pack. I also knew that the only way to do it is to work with the young people who understood it, who understood what digital platform meant to them. I formed a nice young group and I decided I will work with them. I'll learn from them, but I'll give them the direction and the commitment where we are going. Uh, my senior management, they hardly understood what I was up to. Uh, but since I was the owner of the station, I didn't have to ask anybody if we could do this. To actually do digital media, you need to win from the top. Because it's a total conversion. It's a new thing. It's a new way. It's a new culture. And if the top man in an organization is not himself convinced and understands it, it is not going to work. Because there are a lot of changes that have to be done. There are a lot of younger generation that uh, one has to give them a lot of responsibilities. And you know in business world, you find the senior people are occupying all the important positions. And therefore the younger people can't change the, an institution. They don't have the mandate. They, they have to work through somebody else. The person they are working through himself, if he doesn't understand, he doesn't think he's a priority. So I, um, I took it upon myself that uh, I'm going to do it. And for several years, we did nothing but invest in this uh, new way of doing things, in invest in people, uh, do a lot of search for what the rest of the world is doing. And... Uh, Eventually, we found ourselves in a motion of what we were up to, and uh, eventually, when uh, Alexa started noticing that we were one of the top websites in Kenya, well, it gave us energy, and uh, we continued not on money-making model, but more on building content building interesting uh, projects. I sat with my designers, designing these sites, designing different portals for different uh, interests, the news, the business news, the radio side of it, the, the, the jobs. Eventually I had a magazine which uh, I used to print, but it gave me a lot of headache to distribute it. And I said, why on earth don't I give up this magazine in physical and put everything on, on digital? And uh, I changed the title of the magazine. I called it Lifestyle Magazine. And that was a very popular magazine. But the demand for new information is almost daily. This magazine was a fortnight magazine. And now we have to give stories on daily basis because the consumers are there on daily basis. And you distribute to 300,000 people, half a million people on daily basis. And they kept on hungry, wanting more and more and more. So... I have been tirelessly looking for content, looking for partnership to grow our site, and uh, as a result, we, we have achieved about 1,500 ag ag aggregators all over the world, 
uh, my people told me that oh they are taking our news we must charge them and I say no you don't charge you compliment them you ask them to take more of your news for free news are free give the news those people are your agent to spread your gospel so eventually we had the Chinese uh, second largest uh, site to join us and uh, we are linked up and uh, we give to China all the African news they give to us a lot of Chinese news and I found that uh, you can do a lot of social issues on digital media many people want to do an event for charity i always tell them come bring the event we broadcast it we put it on our website and uh, you know we talk to certain category of people and uh, they appreciate this we can also help the youth access the job market and uh, since they are my readers, I said, why don't I create a site for jobs where we ask the investors, please, you need workers of this kind of class, come to our website, put your job da down. We will find the youth who are looking for these jobs they can connect with you and you can exchange knowledge, ideas, and you can interview them. So a lot of them have had jobs through our website. We don't charge the youth for getting jobs through us, neither do we charge the companies who post their jobs on our website. We also allow the small businesses, the small traders who have never advertised because they don't have money, to come to our website, post their, their story, post their, their, their business model, tell their story, what are they trying to sell and what customers they are looking for. And we keep them there for a number of weeks on there and uh, if they succeed to sell what they were selling, they take it out or replace it with something else. We continue to think, what else can we do? Every day, I, I, I don't stand still. I'm permanently looking what tomorrow. What else can I do with this power of, of digital media? We believe the future is not yet tapped. Our challenge is now to evolve, become an African domain, become an impact uh, builder, bring the rest of Africa together. We're looking for ways, how can we do it? And uh, we believe slowly we are penetrating markets and uh, we want to fast track it. I chose not to follow the route of uh, normal television because I was just going to be an added repeat of what is going on. And I decided to focus on this new media, Twitter handles accounts, the Facebook partnership has revolutionized this media as well. And I therefore think together with all what else is there in the world, Africa can, can be taking part in what is going on in the world on time, on real time, not one month after an event has happened. Uh, I'm very personally committed and uh, I'm permanently searching for new ways, new ideas. There is no rest in this. Every day is a new dawn. Every day is something new. We partner with the cinema owners, we partner with anybody who has something to tell to the rest of the world.
I bring on board a lot of young people who are very keen, very enthusiastic. They may not have the business model, but I sit with them on daily basis, guide them, give them new ideas, and uh, as they they get it, they just move like bushfire. These young people, all they need is opportunity. Uh, we have wonderful designers. We design banking websites and uh, and uh, partner with banks, important sites. We are training international oil companies on how to become active on social media and how to in- integrate social media in their own uh, communication with their customers. So I believe I have a lot of good people that uh, are going to continue to drive this media to the next level. One thing in digital world is nothing stays the same. Every day is something new. Every day is some tweaking of something to catch up with the rest of the world. We don't look at any website in Kenya ourselves. We look at the most successful websites in the world. Those are our leaders, those are the people we aspire to be like them, these are the people we we track, and these are the people we follow. We want to be among the best in the world. And uh, our numbers show that we are on the right track. Uh, Money, we believe if we do the right thing, one day will come, and come in plenty. Today, Maybe we are breaking even, but we are not inhibited or hindered by money. We we invest when we have to invest. We invest in this media, but we, we really don't depend on the money to come from that route. We believe one day it will come. It's a long term shot. It's a, it's a long investment, and it's a worthwhile power to have is very powerful media. People are starting to appreciate the, the new media. When we were early adopters, people are still debating whether you can put your material on digital media and uh, why people should not log in and pay you to, to, to read what you write. We did not have a newspaper to protect, so we opened up, we said, please come on our site, read whatever you want. And we do not delay news so that we can sell a newspaper. The newspapers in this country are always minimum 12 to 24 hours hours behind in news from our news on digital media. Sometimes our presenters, our reporters will be in a scene interviewing somebody, but they are streaming direct onto the website, and hence the event is being shared by millions of people out there. So we, we like the speed. And we love it because we are always in the forefront of breaking news. So my people, yes, they love this means. They they feel very empowered. Yeah, so so I didn't have to continue pushing them. I just directed them, showed them the way, and everybody took it on, and uh, here we go. Digital can only grow. Digital will take over our lives. I don't know. I think one thing I would ask such a guy to go first to church and pray for God to show him the light because digital media is here to stay. Digital will define what the world is all about. And if you don't want to be left behind, 
please find somebody who knows about it to help you. If we want to remain relevant, and if we don't want to be telling stories, old stories, history, and you want to be in the forefront of cutting edge, in news, in everything else, one has to very quickly adopt.